My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the 30th Sunday in ordinary time. And today we continue with the Gospel of Mark, right? But today, Jesus uh, was leaving Jericho. Jericho is one of the oldest cities in the world, right? That we have uh, um, recordings, right? So, it, but Jesus was leaving Jericho, but this is something very special. First, we can see in the Gospel that a vast crowd, a sizable crowd, uh, follow him. Why? Because his fame preceded him. But why, where he is he's heading? It doesn't say it here in the Bible, but we know exactly where he's heading. He is going to Jerusalem, right? And why he's going to Jerusalem? He's going to suffer his passion, death, and resurrection. So this is the last time that Jesus was passing by by that road, right? And it happened that it was Bartimaeus, a blind man, and in recorder, Mark wants to know that this man, he have a family, right? Is the son of Timaeus. And he was sitting at the roadside begging. So that was his livelihood, right? Now, this blind man probably has heard about Jesus, but he heard Jesus is passing on this way, right? And immediately, you know, he started crying out, Jesus, son of David, has pity on me. Now, what happened with the people? The people start saying, Quiet, be silent. Don't bother the master, right? Now, let me stop here because there's a couple of things that we can get from here. First of all, when he said, Jesus, son of David, what happened with this blind man? He is recognizing him and calling him with a messianic uh, uh, title, son of David. They knew that uh, the Messiah had to come from the lineage of David. So this blind man is seeing what others cannot see, that he's passing by the Messiah, right? <laughs> and that is something that sometimes, you know, we can have all the knowledge, but Jesus came passing by by our sight, and we are not going to recognize him. Why he recognized Jesus with no eyes? Because his eyes from his heart were open in the fullness, wide open, so he could recognize Jesus, the Messiah. And that is why he said, you know, this is chance I'm not going to, you know, take it away. He, Jesus is passing and he's going to listen to me, right? Because the people is here. Now, how many times in our life there are people who said, you know, don't go to church, come on. And for the young people, you still believe in that, right? And it is one of the people who pressure us not to follow the Lord. And, and these people say, don't bother the master. You are a blind man. You are a beggar. He, Jesus has no time for you, right? And for the country, what happened here? Jesus stopped and called him, right? Now, a couple of Time Jesus has called people, right? And this is one. He called, call him, bring him here, right? And now we have, we see the change. What happened with the people now? The people now is telling him courage, right? Take courage. And, and immediately, what he did is something that uh, Mark has recorded this because it's very very important. You know, he threw his clothes and start going into the Lord now. If we recall two, three weeks ago, I don't remember exactly, but we have this gospel, right? That uh, a, 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 a rich man came to Jesus and asked the question, right? How I can inherit eternal life? And the Lord said, follow the commandments. And this uh, rich man, you know, said, I have done this from my youth, right? And, and Jesus, you know, looked with him with love. He loved him, right? This is our adjustment, you know, and he's give an special invitation, you know, a VIP invitation. And he said, you know, sell everything that you have and follow me. But the gospel recorded this, you know, his face, you know, he was, you know, very sad. Why? Because he had many possessions and he didn't want to give that away, right? So, okay. So there, one thing that he could not renounce, it was his possession to follow the Lord. I, wanna, I always said this, 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 this rich man, if he will follow 
Jesus, the invitation was to be an apostle. So we don't, we're not going to have 12. We will have 13, right? So, but this, blind, this, this, this rich man, they couldn't renounce. So he has many things. But look at this blind man. Let's go back to the blind man. The only thing, he was a beggar, have nothing. The only thing that he have in the whole world is just his clothes. And he just grew up. Why? Because he's totally convinced that he is going to regain his sight. He, you know, what separates from Jesus? His clothes. Throw them away. The question here is this. What separates us from Jesus that we cannot renounce? This beggar, the only thing that he had was his cloak. The rich men have many possessions who would renounce that. Right? And, uh, and this blind man, you know, went to Jesus. And he knew what he wants. Right? What he wants. Jesus said, what can I do for you? Right? And what this man responded, I want to see. He didn't go around the bushes saying, oh Lord, you know, I don't know, but maybe you can, if you are, you know, if you are able to, maybe, I don't know, look at, at least one eye, right? <laughs> so I can see. No, he said, I want to see, right? And, and what Jesus' answer was, he said very clear, your faith has saved you and immediately regain his sight. So what comes first? Faith. If we don't have faith, it's very hard that we can see the miracles, right? So the big question here is, what is faith? Do I have that kind of faith? What, how, how is my faith? Is it really a strong faith or is it a weak faith? Or, or you know, when the storm comes, you know, uh, I just, you know, start Say, why the Lord the, took me this from me, or, or why me, Lord, right? So how, how is our faith? Look, how is a strong faith? Faith is not only the knowledge of God. No. We can have a lot of knowledge about God. But faith is a strong belief, the deeper belief from the bottom of our hearts that God can do anything, anything, right? Even raise people from the dead. Right, so he is the owner of everything, my life and every life that is here and in the world, right? When we get in that conviction that we are nothing without the Lord, then our faith is deep and we are ready to have a good relationship with the Lord, right? So this question, how is my faith? I have a weak face. I have a, you know, a faith that is shaken immediately. I, I don't believe anymore because how can it happen this to me? That is why we need to ask, how is my faith? When our faith is strong, doesn't matter what happened. All, you know, it can come the storms of our life. Everything can happen, but we are going to be strong. Why? Because our faith is founded in, in, in the knowledge and in the love of the Lord. And in, you know, in, in the assurance that one day we will see him face to face. And the invitation for Jesus always doesn't matter, is the way of the cross. But he has said to us, you are, we are not going to carry that cross by ourselves. He will help us in the way. He will always be with us till the end of the world. My dear brothers and sisters, in this gospel, you know, this blind man knew from his heart, this is my last chance. If he didn't do that, what will happen? He will be, you know, never will be. We didn't, we, we will not know anything about this man, Bartimaeus, 2000, uh, uh, going in a road that it was all dirt and, you know, and the caravans that pass him by and all people and probably somebody threw some money from him and, and now, he is one man who regained his sight because of his faith. And he, you know, he had the, the eyes of the heart that could see the Lord Jesus Christ coming and passing by the Messiah. 
But even his disciple doesn't understand why. Remember what happened with the disciple and all the conversation that we have heard from them. Jesus announced him, I'm going to go to Jerusalem and die, and then I, I'm going to raise up on the, the third day, right? But there, what, what, what is the reaction from them? They start discussing which are the first positions, right? John and, 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 and his brothers, right? went to Jesus asking, Lord, allows us to see that on the right hand and the right hand, your reign. So, <laughs> Jesus is talking about he's going to die, and they start to say, who's the most important? But this man, this, this man recognized him as the Messiah, as the one who can help him, right? So, and have faith so stronger that Jesus said, first of all, your faith has saved you. What salvation he is saying that your faith has saved you, saved you from final damnation. So he is going to be part, you know, of heaven. He is going to be with the Lord one day. That is what Jesus is telling. And then your sight has recovered, right? So the first thing is you want to see the miracles, you have to have faith. Don't try to see the miracles before you believe that the miracles can happen. So you want to see miracles, you have the strong belief that God can do everything in our life. Regain our sight, cure whatever illness we have, you know, provide for our needs. That is faith. That we are not afraid of what's going to happen tomorrow because we know that the same God that give us today, provide for us, will be there tomorrow. Will be there. Because that's his promise, I will be with you always till the end of this age. Amen.